Hello and welcome to the DigiLit Leicester Framework Online Survey. This video is designed as a brief walkthrough to give you the opportunity to take a look at the survey before having a go yourself. So this is the welcome page and you can see that it tells you that the survey should take around 30 minutes to complete. But once you've registered you'll be able to save your responses at any time. So this means if you need to leave your computer you can log out and return using the username and password that you've created in registration to carry on from where you've left off. We'll also be reopening the survey in April 2014 and you can use your username and password to come back. Once you've decided to take the survey, the first thing you'll be asked to do is register. So here we have a number of fields that we'd like you to fill in and at the bottom is where you can create your username and password. So this is so that you can return during this phase and also through next year's engagement with the survey. Please do use a school email address wherever possible as should you happen to forget your username or password we will resend those details to the address you give and your school email address will be one of the safest. If you have more than one role or teach more than one subject please select your main subject or responsibility from the drop down list here. And if you work in an SEN school as a subject lead, please select your subject area from the list. So all you need to do now is fill this in and select continue. Once you've completed registration, you'll be presented with the consent form. I would advise that you take your time to read through this carefully before continuing. You'll also be presented with a statement of consent and will be given the opportunity to opt in or out of being contacted in the future by the research team. You can also choose your preferred method of contact if you are happy for us to be in touch with you again. So before you begin you'll be given a couple of more instructions. Again I'll take the time to give these a quick read through before you start and when you do go through the questions be sure to be thinking about the answers in terms of your current practice. The first question of the survey relates to confidence and how you feel about generally using technology to support teaching and learning. As you can see, the scale ranges from not at all confident to extremely confident. We'd like you to bear in mind that the framework is about supporting teaching and support staff. It's about helping you to reflect on how you're currently using technology to support teaching and learning practices. And about providing some examples for how you might be able to take your practice forward in the future if you wish to do so. The remaining pages of the survey relate to the framework content and are split into the six key areas. You'll find that each of the pages for the key strand areas are laid out in the same format. So I'll go over this page in detail and then show you the others. So as you can see, the title is at the top here, finding, evaluating and organising and underneath you'll find a brief description of what this strand is. Then for each of the four statements below you have a selection of some or all for the first selection of statements and for the remaining three you can select from none, some or all. So this means I do none of these things in my current practice I do some of these things in my current practice or I do all of these things in my current practice. You may notice that some of the words in the statements are highlighted blue. If you hover over these it gives you a definition of what these terms mean. There is also a free text box where you can add any additional comments that you would like to leave for us. This is optional but if you'd like to leave any comments they're sure to help and one final question about whether or not the area covered on each page is something that's really important for you in terms of your future professional development. So the remaining areas creating and sharing assessment and feedback communication, collaboration and participation, e-safety and online identity, and finally technology supported professional development. So as you can see the pages are all laid out the same and you use the same process to answer each set of questions 
And finally, on this page, you'll see you have the option to submit. And if you select this, you'll be asked if you're ready. So here you have the option to go back. And as you can see, you can go through previous pages. So here's an opportunity to have a look through and make sure you're happy with your responses before you submit. So now I'm going to click OK and submit my survey and it will take me to the next steps and the summary of my data. So here you can see it's organised by strand and it provides the brief definition that we saw before and it also tells you the level that you were identified as and gives you an explanation of what that means and also gives you some ideas for things you might want to look at in terms of taking your practice forward in the future. At the bottom of each box you'll see a link to key resources and that takes you back to those key resource pages on the main project website and this is a way to link to those immediately from your results. So as you can see we have all six key theme areas here and there's also the option to save or print to open this as a PDF so you can save it and keep an electronic copy and you could also print this out and keep it for your own records. As well as being able to print and save your summary in a PDF format, you can also return to the survey using your username and password. And you'll be taken to a survey overview. So here you can see your answers to the confidence scale question and also your individual answers to each of the statements as you can see. So you can have a look through and see what you answered to each section. And there's also the possibility to reopen the PDF so you can save or print if you didn't have the opportunity to last time. So that's everything. I hope that you enjoy engaging with the survey and that you find it beneficial. And if you need any other resources, please do visit the DigiLit Leicester website at www.digilitleic.com. Thank you.